All right, No Man's Sky. Uh, I first played this game the day it was released and immediately fell in love with the colors, the vibrant foliage, the atmosphere, whatever this thing is. Then the game glitched, I died, and instead respawned on a very convincing replica of Mars. My ship was destroyed, I couldn't find any Pikmin, and so I settled for using a literal Rosetta Stone to unlock words, one at a time, the most effective way to learn a language. I finally learned enough words to roughly understand that the locals were quizzing me and presenting three options, one of which was the correct option. But that's when I realized that the answer is always the middle option, like, like always. Um, for a game that toted being the most generative of our generation, it drew the line at randomly choosing between three options. This would become the first of many things that led me to understand that No Man's Sky was an incomplete game. And so, I put 100 hours into it. Yeah, I don't really know how to transition that. Maybe it was the drought of quality games that year. Not a whole lot. Whatever the reason, that's what I did. So if you haven't played No Man's Sky, you're traveling from planet to planet and you collect stuff in each planet that helps you get further into the galaxy. And essentially, at some point in time, you can theoretically travel enough times that you do get to the center of the universe. And I did. Well, one planet from the center anyway. And then I googled what would happen if I was to go into the center, because it would have been a spoiler if I looked before that point. Um, I don't know. Either this makes sense to you or it doesn't. What's almost legend now was news to me then. Um, when you continue on into the center of the universe in No Man's Sky, um, nothing happens. After hours of searching and traveling, collecting, farming, it just resets you. It pulls an inception type thing. You were in a, you know, wake up and it was all a dream and you start over basically. Um, so I just stayed in the planet, one away from the center of the universe. I could take this video so many directions. Um, there's a huge comeback in this game. They've done a lot. They've continued to fix it as it goes. Hello Games, I give you so much credit for continuing to work on a game that everyone else had given up on. They had a vision, a goal to see that the game that they'd planned to create would be completed um, the way that they had originally planned for it to be, and they've made huge progress. Um, they had a purpose, and they worked to see it through, even when others didn't believe them. Um, somewhat ironically, that's what I feel is still missing from No Man's Sky. After a hundred hours in this game, what was it for? Farm more materials, get a better ship, get a better gun, so you can farm more materials, so you can do it again. It's a cyclical, purposeless cycle, and maybe that's something you relate with. Day after day, fill your tank, go to work, get home, so you can get a better house, so that you can get a better view, F for what? To what end are you working for? I've heard it said it's about the journey, uh, not the destination. But, I mean, you've definitely seen the GIF. Why not both? Happiness is a temporary condition. People with a purpose have sustaining joy because they know, or at least have hope, for what's to come. Eventually, we're all going to get to the center of the universe. Some people hope that the screen just goes black. That's the end of the game. Um, I personally believe it's just the tutorial for what's to come. But whatever 
you believe about the center, the end of the game. I hope you don't wait till you're one planet away to do the search. Because either way, the truth about what happens when we get to the inevitable end of the game, it should influence what you do with the time before. If you would be interested in the search, knowing more about what happens at the end, my DMs are always open. Uh, we've got a Discord uh, link probably below, wherever you're watching this. And thanks for watching. You know, and it kind of makes you feel a little bit small, but what you don't realize is that when you're looking up, there are galaxies worth of stars, hundreds of millions of billions of stars over your head, you know? And if you could see that, you would, I don't even know. I, I, I think you probably either couldn't worry about anything ever again um, because you would just be, you would just think, what is the point, you know? It, nothing's a big deal. Or you just kind of dismay and think, oh, what is the point in anything? <laughs> How small am I and insignificant? <laughs>